So we're here with the Chief Constable, Ian Livingston. Ian is an Aberdeen alumni and we're delighted to get a bit of his time to reflect on his experience at Aberdeen. Thank you, Ian. No, thank you, Neil. Thank you for the invitation. Not at all. And you graduated with a law degree. Why did you choose Aberdeen or why did you choose law at Aberdeen? The um, good question. I mean, it's, it's 90, I was here in 1984 to 1988. Um, and uh, my maternal grandfather is actually a graduate of Aberdeen University. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a teacher. Um, I'm, I'm from the Dunfermline area uh, down, down in uh, southwest Fife. Um, but my maternal grandfather was originally from Kemney. Mm -hmm. And he was the first ever in his, in, in his family. His father was a stonemason and went into to, to, you know, and went, went to Aberdeen and did classics at King's. So mm -hmm. it was always a, there was always a family connection there. Um, I was playing a lot of football at that time as well. So in the early years of university, I combined playing um, part-time professional football with Wraith Rovers, um, as well as studying at Aberdeen. And, and the combination of, of up and down for training seemed, seemed, seemed to work. Um, so I was really keen. I wanted to come to Aberdeen University. I was always really, I, I wanted to do law. Um, and I was keen to sort of move away almost from the central belt for a few years and mm -hmm. enjoy student life as best I could. Um, so uh, Aberdeen was a, was a great choice for me and, and uh, it, it really worked out. From a law degree at Aberdeen to the Chief Constable's post. Yes. In some ways a natural move, but other ways a bit of an interesting route for you. How, how did it? Yeah, well, I, 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 uh, I graduated with a first class honours degree in 1988. Uh, and then I actually went to do a, a qualified in as a solicitor. So I did a further year at Strathclyde University doing a diploma in legal practice. And then I got a job at a large commercial firm, a firm called McLean Murray & Spence um, in, uh, in Glasgow. Mm -hmm. Worked in Glasgow, worked in Edinburgh, worked down in London for a bit. Um, and while I really liked the firm and the people, I'd actually, I felt I was getting further away from, in, in a way, the, the application of mm -hmm. the law. And, and the delivery of the law and what I yeah. saw as, 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 as law's primary role, the rule of law and, 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 and um, the administration and the, the pursuit of justice. Mm -hmm. um, so perhaps naively, perhaps <laughs> uh, a little bit um, with the, uh, the, the spirit of, you know, I was, I was a younger man in those days, <laughs> in, in, my, in my early to mid twenties. Um, and I'd always been interested in, in, in policing and, mm -hmm. and, and, and service. So, uh, in '91, um, I was living in Edinburgh at this time, still working as a solicitor, and um, sought to join uh, Lothian and Borders Police. But it was a quite a controversial decision. My father was—he thought I was crazy at the time, <laughs> you know, how fathers can be—and yeah, yeah. thought he'd, he'd, he'd supported me and set me on this path to uh, a, a professional career mm -hmm. and uh, joining joining the police and, and going to work the mean the mean streets of Wester Hills in the early nineties was was. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't part of it in, in his eyes, but uh, th things have worked out. Across our undergraduate community is the next generation of leaders. Yeah. What's your advice for them? What would be the final gems of advice from the Chief Constable who's achieved that, that senior post within the organisation? What would you pass back as gems of advice to the next generation of leader? Well, I'm... I'm uh I, w I would be anxious about being seen as as, as some guru of of, of, of leadership because uh, you know I, I I think people who work with me and and myself and my wife will be able to point out some gaps in my leadership style and and, and attributes and, and training. But uh, I think my uh, my 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 advice um, would be to work really hard, mm -hmm. commitment, fo focus on what, what you're doing at the time. Mm -hmm. ha, have, have ambition, have 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 a purpose, um, but absolutely stay in the in, in, in the area that you're doing at that time, that the work you're doing on on that day. And secondly, I think is always to to act with uh, a sense of public service and and, and um, you know, pursue your own goals, have ambition, work really really hard, but making that contribution to, mm -hmm. to the wider society. And you can do that in many many ways. Um, and um, being committed, um, providing a good quality service, whatever uh, profession or, or, or sector you're involved with will ultimately benefit your, your fellow citizens. And actually, you know, that, that's, that's an enormous return and reward that you get back for you yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but you, you, do need that to, you do need that commitment and you, you do need to, to, to make sure that you're, you're, you're applying yourself as, a, as an undergraduate or as a, as a postgraduate. So, Ian, thank you very much for your time and all the best with the change agenda that's coming and is keeping on coming at you in Police Scotland. We look forward to seeing your continued success. Thanks a lot, Neil. Really thank appreciate you. that. Thank you. Thank you. Good man.